Today I want to talk about Azure Data Factory and in particular differences between the lookup and the stored procedure activities. Now if you're coming from a background of uh, integration services, uh, you might be familiar with the lookup transformation and this can be a little bit confusing at first if you're using Data Factory uh, because the lookup activity in Data Factory is not uh, the same as the lookup transformation in integration services. So again, if you're kind of new to Data Factory coming from SSIS, this can be a little bit confusing. The lookup activity in Azure Data Factory is used for returning a data set to a data factory. Uh, and so then you can use that data uh, to control other activities in your data set, or in, uh, in the pipeline, I should say. So the data set from a, uh, from a lookup can either be a single row of data or it can be a data set with multiple rows of data. So typical scenarios would be uh, using uh, the lookup to return one row of data that may include parameters to be used as inputs for other store procedures where you just kind of have singleton values. Uh, but you could also use the lookup to return a data set of items to iterate through uh, maybe in a for each loop, for example. So you, you would use the lookup uh, activity for, for both of those. Now to generate the activity, or the, excuse me, the data set for the lookup activity, I'm gonna assume we're gonna be pulling some data from SQL Server. I can either use a query or a stored procedure to return that data for the lookup. So if I'm using the stored procedure in the lookup, why would I not use the stored procedure activity? Well, the answer is that the stored procedure activity uh, does not return any output. So if you intend your store procedure to return output to your factory, you'll want to use the lookup activity. If your store procedure is simply performing an operation, uh, maybe writing to a log table or performing some other process and it does not return output, then using the store procedure activity uh, will be just fine. So the rule of thumb there is if you have a store procedure that returns some data that you need to use in your pipeline, you'll want to use the lookup activity. If your store procedure does not return any output and just performs the operation uh, on the back end of your database, then you can go ahead and use the store procedure. So I want to leave you with two examples uh, to show you how you would use the output of the lookup activity. Uh, the first one I'll show you uh, is going to be how you can reference the output when the activity returns just a single row of data. So in the example that I'm showing, I have an activity called start new extract that we've underlined here. And uh, I've got one row of data. And so to reference that, I can use that, that first row. And then in that row of data, I have a field called load log key. So this particular syntax was used uh, as input for a parameter for another step in my pipeline or activity in my pipeline. And so this is how I can reference the output of a store procedure that has returned one row of data. The next example I want to show you is how I can use the output of a store procedure uh, that returns multiple rows of data. And what I'm showing here is using this data set as the, um, the list of items to loop through in a for each loop. So the syntax is a little bit different here. In this case, I have an activity that I called get GUIDs to process and that returns a list of, of IDs that I want to loop through in a for each loop. And so I can do that by referencing the activity name and then the dot output dot value. And that value then is the entire data set. And then I can later on reference uh, specific rows or columns. I hope you found this information useful. If you have any questions about Azure Data Factory or how your organization can use Azure, please reach out to us and let us know. Thanks for watching. <music>